much uh, we should expect from him in terms of business especially what is it uh, we will see and also your message to young Kenyans young Africans watching this interview uh, who want to follow your path I think very simply um, two issues one is leading by example number two there's so much opportunity look at every single challenge as an opportunity uh, do not get cowed out by people saying, oh, this is wrong, that's wrong, and there's nothing I can do about it. An excuse is what I would call bullshit, because stop using excuses. Rather than that, say the truth and say, fine, this is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And we have a listening private sector, we have a listening government, we have people willing to reform, why not have dialogue? Um, I would say one thing to our youth in university today, very strongly, um, behavior, attitudes needs to be more positive. If something goes wrong today, all you do is come on the streets and start stoning people and a stone meets the windscreen and smashes yeah. it and that's how your communication is, rather than let's have dialogue. Dialogue, sort out issues, articulate issues in a proper manner. Mm. And really coming out from there, you will come out of the private sector. But overall, <coughs> I see a lot of potential. I'm still bullish on the market. <laughs> I'm still bullish on Kenya and we're investing a lot more money here in Kenya and expanding our capacities although we're also investing in Uganda and other places, but we see a lot of potential for Kenya. Mm -hmm. I think there's plenty of opportunities. Look at all the new ways of doing business. There's going to be a complete sea change in 2020, 2030. I mean, just look at what Uber is doing. Mm -hmm. okay? That's a complete new operating system. How many people understand what it's doing? In Nairobi today, we have it. It's launched in New York. Next day, it's here. Kenya is no more far behind in terms of technology. We've got bandwidth, we've got availability of smartphones. I think we're really set to take off. I mm -hmm. put it this way that Kenya is like the plane that's going to take off. The engines are running. We've got a crew on board. It's sealed. We're ready to take off. So we need that huge energy when taking off. And I think we need to pool our energy together yeah. rather than against each other. And I would also tell all the politicians, right now it's not time for politicking. When it comes to elections in 2017, then fight it out. But right now, let's build the nation, mm. let's create jobs. Well done and well said. Thank you very much. Thank you.